We're here today with Bill, one of our patients. Uh, Bill had a spinal cord injury in 2013. He had a fracture to his thoracic spine and this left him with paralysis. And somebody ran in the back of my truck and flipped it over, flipped it forward. He did a lot of inpatient therapy, started in the hospital and then he continued in outpatient therapy and he worked really hard trying to regain function and regain strength. His legs were so tight that I could not move them at all. He could not move them. I used to put the basketball between my legs because anything I put between my legs, my muscles were so tight and it was grabbing so bad that it just smashed my legs together. So I put the basketball there to keep my legs open. So if I take the basketball out, my legs just shit. And we talked to him about the possibility of using an intrathecal baclofen pump. So this is the worst of the worst for you. Okay. The first thing that we did was a screening test. So we gave him a one-time test dose. And we did this in the hospital and we monitored him for the day. And he came back and talked to me afterwards and he said, everything felt good and he needed to have that pump. That test, I ain't gonna lie, that test relieved me. I went on there to do a lot of stuff. But now, since I got this back from pump, you know, I, I tested, I test myself more now since I got this pump out. I feel right now, in due time, I feel more positive about going back to work than anything right now. When he first had his pump implanted, we started him at a dose of 50 micrograms per day. We have been slowly increasing his dose and he is now at a little bit over 100 micrograms per day. And we're doing another increase now. His pump is located right here. And by holding the programmer head over the pump, we can read all of the information on his dosing and then we can increase his pump dose. I think his prognosis is excellent. He's working really hard in therapy and any patient who has that much determination, that's key in his recovery. And he's been working hard for two years before he even came under our care and he's continuing to work really hard. He's, he's standing up more, he's moving more. He's got more control of his legs because we've taken away that uncontrollable increased muscle tone that he had previously. So, I wouldn't be like this year. Where's the basketball now? Basketball at home. <laughs> <laughs>